Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Okay, guys, so we have the card home. Okay, so comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. Okay. So the card kind of speaks for itself here, Capricorn. I definitely feel like this is, uh, you know, there could be someone here who feels like you are home to them. Okay, could also just be letting you know that maybe there are more thoughts geared towards like stability or like it could, it could be that, you know, you want to move in with someone here. But I'm mainly getting this as like a feeling, like someone is looking you, looking you, wow, looking at you as they feel a lot of comfort, you know, around you. They feel like, you know, they uh, enjoy being in your company. There's some sort of like a safety or a belonging. They may even just feel very accepted by you like they could just authentically be who they are around you um so let's see here okay so we have the page of swords on the bottom of the deck split the deck we have your energy which is the devil you know what I'm getting here, guys? Like someone can't stop paying attention to you or someone can't stop uh, checking up on you, you know, that sort of thing. Because Page of Swords, it's more so like um, figure, you know, like um, it's kind of like my research card, if you will. So like someone trying to figure you out, whether it's inquiring about you, whether it's watching tarot readings, whether it's, uh, you know, paying attention to your social media. It's almost like they can't keep their eyes off of you because the devil could, um, you know, it could be obsessive thoughts. It could be someone who feels very, you know, chained or attached to you. But I mainly feel like this is someone who is like trying to figure you out at this time. And maybe they even uh, try to kind of like not think about you or try not to pay attention to you. But I think that it's very hard for them to do here. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start off by seeing how they're viewing you. But it's like they don't want you to know that they want to know something or they're inquiring about you because page of swords is very it's not a direct energy it's more so like behind the scenes or like being very strategic about attaining some sort of information that you want um so how is this person currently viewing you strength okay some of you could be dealing with the leo but this person's viewing you as you know very held back you know they may be viewing you as very reserved they don't really know how you feel and this explains a lot because if they're viewing you in the strength card that could also be the reason why we we did see the page of swords it could be someone who's like okay well i'm not hearing from capricorn or if i'm even if they're speaking to you there's something that you're not really revealing where they're trying to figure it out on their own they want more so whether it's more communication more expression more consistency that's mainly what i'm getting here um, and bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So this is someone who's definitely um, observing, you know, the connection with you. We also have the Seven of Swords here. So they could be regretting, okay? Uh, there could be some sort of regret for actions of the past here. But it's mainly like with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, someone could be paying more attention to you now that you guys are not together versus when they were when you were with them like i don't know i know that's an odd message but that's just what i'm getting here guys um and they're kind of like observing you know how patient you were or how you were invested in this connection and now that you have kind of like pulled your energy back and you're not really either speaking to this person at all or maybe you're not uh, speaking to them often they're so curious you know, and it's someone who definitely regrets either neglecting the situation or they're looking at it as if there was some sort of breadcrumbing that was going on, okay? So let's see what the neutral energies are, any challenges you guys may be facing. Five of swords, ace of swords. It's almost like this person wants to know the truth of a situation or like they want to know your truth. So like take it how it resonates. It is a general read, but it could be that there's something here that your person is thinking about, something that they're very conflicted about. And with the Ace of Swords, it could be that they want to either um, ask you, you know, uh, what what they um, like, they want to ask you something so they can gain some sort of clarity. Or it could be a conflict that has occurred, but they're wanting some sort of closure. Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck, the Tower, and the Eight of Wands, the Death card. <clears throat> you know what I'm getting here? Of course, some of you could be dealing 
with the Scorpio, but I get that someone who is um, who has been very defensive is wanting communication from you. But it seems to be communication about something that occurred unexpectedly. That's why I say maybe it's like an argument or maybe, you know, you chose to just, um, you know, um, like end a connection with this person. It's like they're wanting some sort of clarity, but it's also like a part of them is not being direct here. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, this could also be someone who feels a bit defensive at this time. Like when, you know, because they're mentally conflicted or because they're, you know, seeking some sort of, sort of clarity. This is someone who feels a bit defensive or they're like standing their ground on something that they've said. But I definitely see with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords, there could be some sort of closure or like a breakthrough after a period of kind of going back and forth, uh, you know, in your mind about this situation. This person also may feel like there is some sort, like there could be some sort of hurt that they're holding on to because with the Five of Swords, he's holding three swords and then there's two on the ground there. So like, um, you know, three of swords is, um, it means, or the energy behind it is like heartbreak or some sort of sorrow or pain, but there's two swords on the ground and the two of swords speaks about indecision or not seeing something clearly. That's why I'm saying that there could be some sort of clarity that's coming in that helps you better understand why there was a conflict or maybe why a conflict was avoided, right? Depending on your situation. So let's see how you're viewing this person. So, you know, there's a little bit of mirroring going on. You're almost, because they're viewing you as someone who is not reaching out or someone who's held back, but you're viewing them as someone who's isolated as well. Like, you may be feeling like they are gaining some sort of clarity or they are accepting maybe the truth of the situation, but you feel like they're not doing much about it. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo and bottom of the deck, we have the Magician, the Four of Cups, the Page of Swords and the Ten of Wands and the Devil. Wow. So the way that you're viewing this person is they want their way in a situation. That's how you're viewing them. You're viewing them as, you know, there could be a particular way that they want something to occur or they're spying on you because they want to know what you're up to and they want to come in knowing that they uh, will not be rejected or there's like, you just feel like they have a very specific way of wanting to do things, but you also feel like their effort was lacking in the past. You know, there was a lack of effort. There was a lack of consistency like the ten of wands could be like a burdensome energy or feeling like it takes a lot of effort to work something out or even work on something to begin with and with the four of cups it's almost like you're also viewing them as someone who is very nonchalant during the connection that's why um you know i was getting that download of like some of you feeling why were, why are you invested in me now that i've walked away or now that i'm held back but you weren't you know i wasn't receiving all this attention or i wasn't receiving um you know uh, or you weren't paying attention to this connection while we were actually in the connection like that's kind of what i'm getting here hmm okay so they're viewing you in the strength card energy let's see how you really feel The devil okay <clears throat> you just, you may still feel some sort of attachment here or you feel like there are still thoughts that are crossing your mind yeah about this person but here's the thing the devil is being clarified by the hanged man which means for many of you as much as you think about this person you always um you feel like you end up at square one or there's like a part that you get to when you start thinking about this uh, bond here and then it just causes you to feel stuck so not only does something feel repetitive here, you feel like something about this connection is making you feel stuck. Now with the devil as well as the hanged man in your feelings, what could be illuminated to you right now is what was not working in this connection. You know, what was unhealthy, whether it was addictions, whether it was attachments, whether it was a connection elsewhere. I think that you're gaining clarity because the hanged man talks about clarity or seeing things from a different perspective on why things weren't able to work out between the both of you. Or maybe for some of you, you're getting uh, some sort of clo like you're receiving some sort of closure on why things ended. We have the Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Yeah, I see this as someone who is, uh, you know, like rushing in. But the Knight of Swords, even when we see it in your spread, it's going towards the past. So it's almost like they want to speak about something that has already happened because they're still feeling conflicted about it. And I will say, guys, like in your feelings with the devil as well as the hanged man, like it could be a bit of a heavy energy where it's like, why can't I shake this person? Or like, why can't I shake this thought? Or why, uh, you know, why is this person's energy still lingering? Um, because with the hanged man, yes, you're receiving some sort of clarity. But I think the main thing that's bothering you here is thoughts about this person tend to make you feel stuck. 
that's the best way for, I can explain it because that's the way that I'm receiving the download. It's like when you think about the situation, you're like, oh, here we go again. Now I'm just going to think about it. And, and yet again, there's going to be no solution. You know, there's like a very stuck feeling associated with, uh, you know, the thoughts that you have about this person or the bond here. So that's what's going on in your feelings. Let's see what the five of swords is. Nine of Swords, yeah, this person is stressed out, guys. You know, and I feel like you're you're spending a lot of time uh, thinking about it as well. But you know, the way that you guys are viewing each other is okay. Well, we're not speaking to each other, so it must be that we're not thinking about each other. But that's not the case. That's not what I see in the cards. And uh, with the Nine of Swords, you know, there could be again a lot of worry surrounding like conflict, or this person feels like they're just going back and forth in their mind. You know, and with the Nine of Swords, it could it could be, you know, it's falling in the challenge position. So the challenge here is a lot of thinking going on, but not enough doing. Or it could be feeling conflicted about one thing in particular and really wanting some sort of clarity. But there's like it's um, there's no direct communication. It's more so like trying to figure out an answer, you know, on their own or trying to um, figure something out about you without asking you. You understand what I'm saying, Capricorn? Like there is, um, you know, a lot of worry and stress, but it's because um, there's a lack of communication or there's a lack of just being direct with each other here. So what is the Ace of Swords? <clears throat> yeah, exactly what I said, Page of Swords. So this is the third time we're seeing this now. So this is definitely someone who's keeping tabs on you. I feel like they can't stop keeping tabs on you, but then it also stresses them out to revisit maybe old memories or just, you know, check up on your social media and that sort of thing. Like right now, there's a lot of mental energy, like thinking about the connection, thinking about what does not work, thinking about the conflict. And and again, it's, it's more so resulting in mental conflict. Like, did I make the right decision? What do I do? What does the future hold? So it seems kind of like a stressful energy here or like a lot of worry surrounding the connection. So you're viewing them in the Hermit uh, energy. Let's see how they really feel. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's something that they're still a bit defensive about. So like it could be something that they've already communicated to you and they're like, okay, I'm sticking by that. But the Seven of Wands could also be someone who has some sort of like a guard up as well. Like again, they, they're, you know, they're curious about you. They're wondering what you're up to, but they don't want you to know that. So there's like a very defensive or guarded energy here. Um, what's the seven of wands in their feelings? Nine of pentacles. Bottom of the deck here, the three of cups, the high priestess, the two of wands. You know what I get here, guys? Like this person, it's almost like I'm getting an energy of suffering in silence or keeping, you know, their thoughts to their self. With the three of cups, they could be trying to, you know, put their self out there, you know, nine of pentacles go out more. Now, nine of pentacles could also be someone who's like shifting their focus towards stability, someone who's like, okay, I feel a bit defensive when I think about this connection. So I'm going to, you know, um, focus on myself or focus on uh, feeling great on my own. Because with the three of cups, this could also be someone who, um, you know, feels like they avoid their issues by, you know, partying or they avoid their issues by surrounding their self, um, you know, amongst large groups. So it could be someone who's like going within or turning inward, especially with that hermit. So the Nine of Pentacles being clarified by the Two of Swords. You know what, what's in this person's feelings? They feel like they should be on their own until they make a clear decision. Or they need to be on their own in order to make a clear decision. Take it how it resonates here. But this is what's in their feelings. Because with the Two of Swords, they're like, it's almost like, I don't see something clearly, but being in a relationship or just going going out and, and just casually dating is not going to help me see what I need or what I want moving forward. So I see this person spending more time on their own to make a decision. Um, so let's see what the potential outcome is. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. I see this person communicating with you again. Um, it may be very impulsive with the uh, Knight of Wands here. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Wands. And this could also be, guys, like for the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands to... Yeah, the fool. This is definitely someone who wants a new beginning. But for the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands to come out in the potential outcome, like for some of you, you could be um, receiving, like like you could feel like there's some sort of balance that's being restored or something starts to feel fair to you again. But 
for some of you, it's not going to be that you're um, like connecting with this person. You may receive closure from this person, but the fool could be a brand new beginning elsewhere. So for some of you, you could receive closure from this person, but your new beginning will be, uh, you know, elsewhere. This is something that you're manifesting because the way that this person's coming in. Yes, I do feel like they want to speak to you or they want to rush in. But that's also what that's also the only thing that they're doing. They're rushing in or they're speaking to you because it's more more so like an urge or they're or they're acting on their impulse emotion here. OK, but with the Ten of Pentacles, again, guys, like this could be someone who is again, uh, you know, wanting to speak about a commitment or rushing in to just speak to you and hear from you. But what's in their emotions is they, it seems like they are going to choose to be on their own um, in order to make a decision, or maybe that's the advice behind the cards there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do for you guys is um, it's going to be Capricorn versus um, like all 12 signs. Okay. So we'll start off with Aries and we'll go all the way through till uh, Pisces. Okay, let's see. And for some of you, very interesting message here. When this person, like if they're, even if they're communicating with you right now, even, um, even though it's someone that you have history with, you guys may start off by just, um, like dating again or like relearning each other. Like there's something about like starting all over again like literally from scratch so that could be the case for some of you that are connecting with this person but again maybe for others of you it could be a completely new beginning because the fool could be read as that as well um okay so let's see here okay guys so if you are involved with an aries you make this aries very happy okay they're viewing you as wish fulfillment and this aries could be someone who is well off very independent but they have you on their mind the main thing that i'm getting here is they view you as like a good time someone that makes them very happy um and maybe even like like an energy of feeling very fulfilled when they are in your company okay if you are involved with the taurus this taurus may feel very stuck okay um with the eight of swords energy or there could be something that is causing them to feel restricted like in their 3d okay so whether it's like um you know um, uh, a thinking pattern right because the swords boil down to mental energy i do see this taurus thinking about you but i don't really see them i don't really see this card as an action-oriented card i more so see it as like being stuck in thoughts if you are dealing with a Gemini, okay, this Gemini is thinking about you, but they feel very emotionally overwhelmed. Uh, this could be a Gemini that feels very like guarded. They may feel like, you know, um, they have, they don't have access to you as of currently, but I feel like this Gemini right now when they, they are thinking about you, but there's something about them feeling very emotionally overwhelmed or exhausted. Okay, so if you are dealing with a Cancer here, this Cancerian may be upset about something, okay? Because right now their back is turned towards the situation. Um, this could also be um, a Cancerian who is kind of seeing the truth of a situation, maybe even seeing past illusions at this time. If you are dealing with a Leo, this Leo seems to be either exploring their options A or B. It could be that they have a, like, um, they're looking at the situation, but they're exploring different ways that things could play out between the both of you. Um, but initially what I got is this Leo is like exploring their options or, um, you know, putting their self out there. I, I don't feel like this is a Leo that has made a decision. Okay. If you are dealing with a Virgo, um, this Virgo, they are, you bring a lot of excitement into their life. Okay. But the, this Virgo may not be as consistent as you want them to be. This is more so someone who may be open to dating, who may be communicating with you. But again, I see like a lack of consistency, but just more so excitement, fun, going with the flow type of energy here. Okay. Um, so if you are dealing with a Libra, this Libra may be silent with you at this time, or they feel like there's something very, something that they're not certain about when it comes to this connection with you. They may feel like they're still either in the early stages of getting to know you, or they feel like there's a lot that's hidden and they're taking their time here. Okay. Um, this could also be a card of like secrecy or feeling like, again, something is in the dark. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, okay, so this could be this could be a Scorpio that is currently giving you silent treatment, but they feel connected to you on like a spiritual level. So this could be letting me know there's some sort of telepathic communication going on. This person could feel, um, you know, uh, connected to you despite any sense of any sort of distance that is between the both of you. But they feel like um, there is a way that you guys can come together because the High Priestess speaks about having faith and hope in what you desire, even if you don't know how it's going to come together. Okay. 
if you're dealing with a Sagittarius here, okay, they could be wanting to return to you. Six of Cups is someone who is missing you, feeling very nostalgic, and they could be, you know, uh, returning to you here. This could also be a Sagittarius who wants to offer you like a gift, or they're coming in and asking to take you out to the to uh, you know your favorite place, you know, for lunch or dinner, like some sort of a kind act here, okay. If you're dealing with another Capricorn, they seem to be, um, you know, on a journey of figuring themselves out. They seem to be a bit held back here, I will say that. Um, this Capricorn may feel like they're at a point in their life where they are, you know, gaining some sort of wisdom, gaining some sort of insight, but I don't really see them as working towards the connection. I see it more so like um, taking taking time for their self, you know, keeping to their self, uh, gaining some sort of knowledge, gaining some sort of clarity, okay? They may also be going through uh, like a pretty heavy or dark period here. If you are involved with an Aquarius, you may um, receive communication from this person unexpectedly, but this could also let me know that when this Aquarius thinks of you, they feel like something happened uh, between the both of you where they were not prepared for it at, at all. Okay, and for those of you dealing with the Pisces, this Pisces views you as someone that they find a lot of peace with. They feel like, um, you know, there's a very healing energy that you exude here, and they definitely feel like the connection that you guys share cannot be replaced. Okay, so my wonderful Capricorns, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today, and uh, thank you so much for your time.